presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 75, NASDAQ's off 124, S&P's off 18, gold contract trading down $11.90 at 1733 an ounce. We get silver down 32 cents, eighteen dollars twenty nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck ninety eight, ninety six dollars sixty three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the ten year note down seven ticks, trading at uh, a price point of one nineteen twenty one. The thirty year off twenty at one forty one fourteen. And king dollar, king dollar is down two hundred fifty ticks, trading one oh six four eighty. The euro is out here at a price point of one. O2. The yen is at 136 and the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Let's go to the world of our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and a managing director at Direction. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, all you have to do is hit that Direction button, get over there, and you can see the lineup of ETFs, leveraged and single um, equities that you can trade each and every day. Dave Mazda, what's going on? Hey, happy to be back. What's happening? It's great seeing you, man. And you know what I'd like to talk about today? So this is pretty, you know, it seems that the leverage business in general in the ETF um, is accelerating quite a bit, Dave. Um, and so... What I'd love you to do is talk a little bit about, and I talk a lot about this, but this is what has happened in the past two weeks, which is pretty wild. You know, folks, what has happened is that you got you get plenty of folks like me that have been in the market a long time, but we have a whole new crew that's coming up. And what's happened, Dave, this is really intriguing, man. You know the last oil run, right? Well, it seems like a lot of, you know, a lot, our listeners, okay, they, they really did well with the gush, right? Now, what happened, which is really intriguing, though, is that I've been getting some calls, and you know, like anything else, when you start something new and you make a lot of money, <laughs> and then it, it was one of those deals that a couple of calls really didn't understand that we reset every day. That's the bottom line. And I really realized this is okay, this is, uh, you know, this is almost like when we first started. You know what I'm saying? That Everyone gets acclimated to it, but there's so many new traders because these these traders that were actually calling are only like 24, 25 years old. Um, so I was explaining to it, but can we go through that a little? Because I think this, I, I I know it because I'm getting I got it when I get three or four calls in ten days like that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like okay, you did really well, no doubt. Do you know what I mean? But you know we got to they got to understand that. Each one of these doubles and triples reset every day. And what, because what happened is that one of them calls it, oh, this is a no brainer. You're just going to buy this because it's going to go high. I said, no, no, if you get a sideways market, the bottom line, you really want to understand how these work. So can you just go through that a little for them? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So it, I think it's worth taking a step back because we have seen, uh, to your point, a huge increase of new traders entering the space, trading and 
look at leverage and inverse ETFs. And right. I can tell you, the reason for that is in times of market volatility, folks are looking for opportunities and leverage and inverse ETFs can do that for you. However, that opportunity can come with some, I'd say, personal responsibility. And that is to understand how the products work. And um, and I know as you emphasize uh, when, when you're getting these call, these columns, these are daily uh, daily vehicles. And what I mean by that is that every day, every uh, we are delevering or relevering the fund to meet that exposure. And so, for example, you know, these cannot be used over the long term. Right. Now, there's always a case someone has held something and, and they were right and kudos to them. But there's also examples of folks who bought the bear fund and not the bull fund and they and they, yeah. they, they lost a the amount of capital. So yes. what the way I think about this is if you don't have the ability or interest to monitor your position in a leverage and inverse ETF daily, these aren't for you. Now, if you do, you can make that buy, sell, or hold decision daily, right? Maybe you did exactly. buy it right. and your thesis still works, keep the position. But maybe you bought it and, and that something has changed or the, better yet, particularly with, with the way folks trade, a lot of folks trade leverage and inverse ETS on the technicals, then you, you might have to sell it, right? So be, the reason this is the, the reason that's the case is because again the the return that that two times or three time return is only on a given day. So if you look, particularly in periods of market volatility, when we are buying and selling, yes. we're never you're never you're getting negative compounding. It's not you know if you look back to a year where you have uh, pretty low volatility in the markets. Interesting enough, a, a two times or three times leverage fund might actually outperform its theoretical return in it because it was just trending. Right. But this market is not a trending market, right? right? So you should you should be you have to make those decisions on a daily basis no. if you're going to be involved in these products. And I appreciate it because I I it seemed that the, the few that that what they were talking they all hit the oil market. So it was one of those deals, you know what I mean? Like, hey, this is pretty cool, right? It was a it was a one way trip on the way down. And now, you know, it's bouncing back and forth. And I was, I was explaining to them that, OK, you know, but that's not the same, because if you're in a consolidation, you know, you got to remember, just as you said, it resets every day, folks. OK, and there's there's a lot of different things you can do with them. You can trade them just to make money. You can have, you know, like a couple of the calls. They had Exxon, they had Chevron on one. So they just wanted to cover it and get Delta neutral. OK, which is easy. Not. Yeah, it's pretty easy in that sector because. ExxonMobil and Chevron folks are like 46% of one of those, you know, in the XLE, basically. So, um, yeah, really cool, man. And, you know, the, the aspect, uh, it, it seems, Dave, that when we have this volatility, too, um, people that have already been used to them, this, they're not only staying there. I mean, they're opening up basically... Uh, not a full portfolio, but they're, they're basically, they really understand now if they're trying to protect some of their portfolio to just throw something else on for the day, like a bad day. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, just yeah, put it right. in the morning and take it off in the afternoon, man. Do you know? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And that's a great, great way to think about using these products. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much. Appreciate the education. Look forward to speaking to two weeks from today, Dave. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Awesome. Thanks, man. Bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. of looming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 60. We hit the NASDAQ off 122. S&Ps are off 16 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day. 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time, also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. T's on, you'll see on the right-hand side top, and the bottom line is that you can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 26%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and they come with a huge amount of information. And the bottom line, Steve did a um, little, well, not a little, a, a nice article uh, over the weekend. That is phenomenal, no doubt about that. Let's go see what he's talking about. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, summer is certainly ripping by. It I just is. looked at my calendar to realize that the kids down here in Florida go back to school in two weeks. I know, man. That's crazy, right? Yeah. But I'm digging yeah. it because October's coming. So for us folks, October is the break. September's That's the true. worst month. So, That's true. Yeah. Well, but. It's been, been pretty hot here in July, although it's not too bad on the beach. You get the breeze and, you know, it kind of cools you down. But yeah. but you're right. I did, by the way, I did, I did send out a uh, every, all, all the TFNN subscribers right. should receive a uh, link. Uh, for this uh, report, we'll just kind of go through it uh, today, and that'd be great because it's yeah, a great so, report, man. Oh, thank you, thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. And Friday was really a big day, and it was a big day because we actually got two different kind of signals. We got a short-term topping signal, and we got an intermediate-term um, long signal out there. So let me explain what what we've got. This the short-term bear signals came from the NDX 100, the Russell 2000, as well as the Semiconductor Index, and each of them. And I show this here on these uh, charts here. So yep. I show those three, and and what I'm doing to show each of these three is I'm using the ETF. So that way everybody at home can do the same thing. Okay. They can follow along. So on the left-hand side we've got the Qs, and we can see the A to B equals CD pattern. Now the Qs got above the one to one A to B equals CD. For me, the way that I like to confirm these patterns, in other words, that they've either topped or bottom, here we take a look at tops, are when we get a bearish reversal candle. And that's what we got inside the queues on Friday, which was on a daily base, which was a bear sash candle. 
Now here, this shows, now I, I, what I do realize is that since I've actually posted these charts, I've gotten some new profile levels inside of the queues, we, but we're not going to go there right right now. Uh, if, if we take a look at the Russell 2000, the IWM, it made the one-to-one, -one. in fact, got just slightly above that on both Thursday and Friday, but Friday was a bearish engulfing candle. And so that suggests a retracement. And then we've got the SMHs in the right-hand side. Now that made the one to 1.618 A to B equals CD pattern. Tell me, I can't recall, and maybe I've misstated this if few times but in your book the art of timing the trade is it the one to 1.618 or the one to two a to b it, equals cd it's the one to 1.618 and what, what okay. happens when you normally get that it, that's a change of trend and when you normally get that sometimes it whacks to two but if it goes to two it stays there a day and then you're off to the races no matter which way it goes that's what it seems you know it's very unusual Perfect. at one to two yeah Perfect, because here, here's a perfect example of, of what, you know, you wrote in your book uh, after all those years of study. And here we can take a look at a daily time frame chart for the semiconductor. And, it's, and it made the 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD price projection area, which was in the 231 range. And then we got that bear sash candle. Now, the semiconductor index could, could take a big move to the downside. And what I mean by that is that there's a bearish structured profile that is formed. And a close today below 225.59, which suggests that price could pull all the way back to support. And this is just one support level that we're looking at, which is the bottom of this new profile, which is at 205.94. Now, I won't be able to confirm this profile until tomorrow because I'm using an advanced tool here that identifies these profiles as they're beginning to form. So if people turn into the radio show uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll go ahead and confirm uh, the, uh, the, the semiconductor. So we got three that formed from a daily standpoint, what I'll call the short-term time frame, topping signals. The NQ also generated that uh, uh, A to B equals CD pattern. And in this case here, we oftentimes refer to it as a Gertley cell pattern. Now, it also has new profiles that are attempting to form. And again, I'll confirm these tomorrow during the radio show. But right now, the top of that profile is 12.579. The bottom is sitting at 12.104. What I think is that Price will pull back to that 12104 level, and if that holds, that's the next um, buy the dip point in this move as we continue to move higher out here, or as the markets continue to move higher. If we take a look at the, and, and, and when I say that, folks, is because now we'll get to the intermediate term signal. And this intermediate term signal came from the uh, Dow. So the weekly chart for the Dow. And what it did was this this little green squiggly green red squiggly line is what's referred to as an oscillator and change line. And what I want folks to take a look at is throughout 2022, price has been below this level. It's been tested intra-week several times, but each time it fails and it closes back below that and shows how that has been a key level of resistance. Well, on Friday, we got to close above that level. That level, folks, is 31,630. Now, if we get a second consecutive close this week above that level, that's going to confirm that pattern or confirm a change in trend pattern, a little similar to Tom's 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD. So because we haven't closed above this in 2022, it's sending us a signal that there's a change in trend that is attempting to form. I like to use two consecutive bars, Tom, either above resistance or below support to give us that confirmation. So folks should watch the 31,630 area within a few dollars up or down. This is the weekly chart for the Dow, and it shows that uh, we have consecutive this, this this weekly chart shows us that the that the bounces that we've had the counter trend rallies that we've had in the market have lasted for two consecutive bars what i mean by that is where one bar closes above the prior close so here we take a look at and, and i believe that t this week or last week was week number one we should see a higher close come the end of the week and bear market rallies tend to complete in two to three bars and that's really important to understand here during the 2007 2009 bear market folks you'll see where these black arrows you'll see all of these two or three bar rallies out there if we take a look at uh, and, and last week close above the OUL signaling likely that there's something more if i go back here um, well, let's just, let's just let's continue moving on. During the 2000 bear market, we can take a look at one, two, three, four, five different examples of two bar rallies out there for, for, for instances of that. So it's common to see a two or three bar rally. And it tends to work better, Tom, for the weekly and the monthly time frame. Here's the 1921, 1929 bear market out here. And we can see these two bar rallies. There was one four bar rally, but price still stayed below that oscillator and change line. 1973, same kind of thing. So folks, open up that report. You'll see this out there. The, this chart here 
Tom, that I provided to everybody. This chart looks at the Dow price in major currencies. Now, yes. you and I, we think of this as the Dow price in dollars. But if you're over in Europe and you're trading in euros, you're thinking about how is the Dow performing your currency? Or if you're in Japan, how is the Dow performing in yen? Or if you're in, in England, how is the Dow performing in pounds? If you take a look at these charts out here, the Dow performing those major currencies doesn't look like it's really in a bear market. I mean, it's almost near their all-time highs, right. which took place in January of uh, 2022. Actually, in yen, price in yen, it was April of 2022 out there. And this is the global flow of capital. And here what we can see, if you take a look at the top chart or the very bottom chart, is the euro is below the 2017 areas. And this shows, and the reason why we could see this rally that lasts for two to three months, and that's what I'm referring to, folks, not just a two to three week rally, but I think that change in trend is signaling to us we could see something last for two to three months out there. So open up the link to that report. You'll have all these charts here. And if you have any questions, folks can email me. I, I have that. And folks, that you want to read that report. And if you don't have it in your email, go in your spam. Because it's an awesome report, man. And then come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You hit the market, uh, market probability. That's your problem. Thank you, man. You got it. Uh, and you are off to the races. Have a great one, Thanks, Steve. Tom. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. this Tom. sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 32. The Nasdaq's off 112. S&Ps are off 13. So if you are have got anything at TFNN, well, even if you're on YouTube, folks, uh, bottom line is that we sent that report out. Steve sent that report out over the weekend, okay? So if you didn't get near an email, go to your spam box. It's an amazing report. I mean, it's really a cool report. And, of course, you know, if you uh, want to check out Steve's newsletter, Mastering Probability, it's very easy to do. There's a link right on that report. You can just come over to TFNN, you hit newsletters, and on the right-hand side, you're going to see Mastering Probability. But it's, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, there's a lot of backup with it. Uh, and, you know, like anything else, we'll see how this baby shakes out. But there's a, there's a lot to it. Um, Market-wise out here, the bottom line is that uh, 
we are pulling back with light volume. Let me just see this for a second. I want to see. Okay, so, okay, so let's Microsoft. Let's go through some of these equities that are coming out with numbers tomorrow. So we got Microsoft. That's going to be. Let's see. More than likely, that's after the close. Okay, after market. Microsoft is trading 257. They're going to look be looking to take in. 52.4 billion to the top line, two dollars and twenty-nine cents to the bottom line. Let's see what we're looking at here. Okay, so Microsoft's still been in this consolidation. They put this on a weekly. You're down from 349, so you're off 33 percent. Came back to strength that goes all the way back to you know April of 2021. Yeah, I could, I could, okay, so I can see this one here, you know, going after this, there, there is a, you know, high volume low that's laying here. Rejected the last time, but that's still open. Yeah, it's still, it's still open. Okay, so that's 248. That's one that looks like to me that wants to go lower. Okay, so let's go to Google next. Google's coming out uh, also tomorrow after the close. Uh, Google is going to be looking, it's trading 107.18 right now. They're going to be looking to take in 58 billion with a dollar 32 to the bottom line. Oh, without looking at these, it doesn't look like these things are going to basically pop. Yeah, this looks like it wants to go to the, uh, the down too, down to that. Uh, 102 and right now at 107. That 102, it's the same week. It'll be the week of, uh, let's see, we're talking. The week of May 27th. That you got a down bar there. That's, that's what's going on. So let's go into Coca Cola. That's also coming out tomorrow. That comes out before the market opens. That's trading 61.92. They they plan on doing 10.7 billion and taking 67 cents to the bottom line. This one here, whoops, that's the wrong one. K O. Okay, so they put this on a weekly. So that was 118 million versus 125. This is going to be a close call, this one, man. This just might stay in a consolidation. We had come down hard six weeks ago, but that was just coming into another downdraft. It's coming into the breakout area. The breakout area, Coke, was uh, 56, 57 dollars. That's how is that set up? If we go look at uh, Nvidia for a couple of the tigers out here, um, this baby here, you know, bottom line has some strength. You know, you're down four. Now, this trades up and down five, six dollars every day. But this has strength. It's backing down. So pitch this. Well, first off, when you see the the type of retracement this had is brutal, man. And that's this is how the stock trades. So this is down from 346. You're at 168. You came into the breakout area. And, and when I say came into breakout, anything that stays over 152, that's where we start breaking topside in May of uh, 2021. Yeah, this one's higher price. L look at this volume last week and then video. It's it's monster. So you laid, you laid out a low with 206, 216 million. Well, last week we did 322 million, which was coming into 245 as well as 345. Now, needless to say, yeah, the, the 30 or the, yeah, the 322 is less than the 345, but that's a lot of volume, man. That's saying that, to me, I suspect that good old NVIDIA, this thing can bounce up to 208, like, uh, pretty quickly. That's how that thing is shaking out, man. That's how, that's how it looks to be shaking out. So um, you're talking about a decent number here. We go to uh, Big Mac. So you got McDonald's coming out with numbers tomorrow. They're trading at 249. They look to take in $5.8 billion and $2.46 to their bottom line. And it looks like someone's trying to get ahead of it here. 
by selling down McDonald's right now, actually. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, so this can get to run to 242, right? The, the, the danger point for McDonald's is that when we did come down in March, uh, 27 million, yeah, it was going into 25. So that can get retested. This could be a, a, a huge consolidation. That's how that is shaken out. Uh, GM, let's go to GM. They're coming out tomorrow. This is gonna, we're gonna have a, this is gonna be a wild week, folks, when you're talking about numbers. So GM's trading 34 bucks. They're gonna be looking to do 37 billion and take $1.31 to the bottom line. And what we will see is like what kind of uh, ex extra expenses that these com companies are gonna have. In GM's case, let me see this. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching GM. It's not that it, it, it's already, you know, come down from this $62. It got cut in half, but it looks like it's going to consolidate. Let's go over to Newmont for a second. So I want to show you something with Newmont. Newmont came out with numbers this morning. Newmont had been, on the last run-up, Newmont was the strongest gold stock there was. Now, look at this. This thing, this stock, number one, has got cut in half. I think it's, let's, yeah, I think it's just about half in three months. Yeah, 80, 86 to 44, okay? And it's accelerating all the way, way, way down. Now, when you look at it, this is important to, to look at if you happen to be in the gold market because what happens with these numbers, right, particularly the numbers, see this gold in all sustaining cost per ounce? That's important to understand. So they had they had it at 1035 now bottom line it's a thousand it's 1153 so that went up approximately nine percent the reason that number is important folks is this uh, newmont is a great miner and an all-in sustaining cost gets you a floor in the gold market i mean yeah we're trading at 1800 but I, I just want you to understand that to get the ore out to crush the ore, to get the gold out of the ore, to get the mountain back to the, how it started, the bottom line is that that's what it's costing Newmont, okay? So when you look at that aspect, um, the bottom line is that that gives you a fundamental direction, number one, on what this is, the cost is to sustain it. Number two, and it's the, you can expect these expense ratios to be up 10% because that's what this is in here. That, you know, the bottom line is that they missed their number, um, you know, but their expenses in order to get that gold out of the ground is also up 10%. That's a big number, man. We're going to see more of that. And the larger gold companies, you know, look to me like, yeah, they're, they're definitely weaker than the, than the expiration. Stay right there. Come, come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 17, NASDAQ's down 98, S&Ps are uh, down 8. Yeah, and let's, so let's bring a few more of these golds up because a couple of targets are saying that you, you, what you do have here, the you have many of the smaller ones outperforming. If we go to uh, Heckler, now Heckler's a silver stock, okay? Silver, you know, got smoked just like gold. Low for the is 344, the high is 760. They don't come out with numbers until the August 5th. Uh, that being said, you know, this is, this is, you know, looks to me like, you know, it's probably off the bottom. The bottom was laying in at 304. You're a buck over it right now. And I really like what's happening here. See how this is, you're pushing into the swing with put with volume this is a nice move man you know you're you're up 20 cents you get 9.9 .9 million and you and the swing has 5.4 now watch this this is going to be cool we're going to be able to, i just put the symbol in hey, look at this so this symbol that i just put in folks gets you all the larger trades and you can see someone's someone's into the stock man i mean just look at this thing all day long. I mean, it, it started out, well, you can, it, from one o'clock on, man, look at this. I mean, just when I was on at the 12, yeah, the, it, this is military time, so all you have to do is take 12 away from whatever you're looking at, folks. 57,000, 50, 50, 42, 31. Now, let's go into this. Let's see this. Someone is buying this, man, big time, too. And let's just see if we got, because what, what we're doing now, the screen that you're looking at now, folks, okay, is going to give you, if someone had already been in the equity and they're buying into it, they it won't give you necessarily who's buying today, okay? So I don't see, what, what you're looking for when you're looking at this, you're looking for, I would be looking at the, the, where the file date, you're looking for the seventh month, well, there's no seven months, but I suspect what we're gonna have in the next couple days uh, we're going to see something in there because when, yeah, because the, the volume expansion is growing dramatically. And as I said, when I just put up the larger trades, uh, you can see it's, you know, you know, it's 50,000, it's a $200,000 trade. Um, and you don't, you know, get them one after the other, after the other. The thing that's amazing is that this is how you do get in. You know, who's ever doing this, okay, is doing really well getting in because you can see they've only moved at 5%. And the way to do it, this is the way to do it. So, so here, let me just walk it through this for a second because what normally happens in a big fund, right, is they don't do it like this, okay? They give it to a broker. The broker doesn't have no freaking clue as to really how to get in. This is the way to get in because what ends up happening is that each and every time that you're really getting in, you know, you're saying, okay, is your, is the, the broker on the other side is taking the risk that, I mean, in this case, it's going to be at the New York Stock Exchange because this equity is one of the oldest equities that trades at the New York Stock Exchange. So what ends up happening is that when they're, 
basically do feeding it one by one coming in uh, bottom line I know it's at 50k a piece but they don't know when that thing is going to end and um, that's the way to do it versus saying, okay, give me 400,000 shares because it was 400,000 shares, the bottom line, that had popped that way too far. But anyway, I suspect that that is an equity that wants to go higher. If we stay with the theme about the larger gold equities, and this when I was doing the gold report this morning, I didn't like how these looked, particularly because you got Royal Gold, great stock. That's down two and a half dollars, man. That, that hasn't been able to catch a bid at all. Franco Nevada, that's another one. Hasn't been able to catch a bid. Bottom line, same set up there. You can see that's lower. And then Barrick. It, the, the four biggest gold stocks actually are some of the weakest stocks in the market. And look at Barrick. Barrick's down 47 cents. Now, the way that works fundamentally, so watch how this works. Oh, an Eco Eagle, same deal. An Eco Eagle can't hold price. Let's see this. Come on, come on. So an Eco Eagle, yeah, look at this, can't hold price either. They accelerate down. So what happens here is this. This is how this goes. When you are already deep into producing, well, the bottom line is when no, you know, Newmont comes out with the, you know, saying, hey, my all-in costs are up 9%, my expenses are up, bottom line, the market's recognizing that that's all up. That is where you see the difference, okay, in the texture of, I'd say Heckler, let's go look at Pan American Silver. I would say Heckler is basically an, an outlier. Yeah, Heckler's an outlier. That's the bottom line. Heckler's an outlier because you can see Pan American Silver's having a hard time holding price also. So the, the, the folks that have the mines, that are deep into the mine, that the market is recognizing that the expense structure has gone up by 9%. Well, 9% in the gold market, folks, is a monster. Well, 9% in anything is big. But the gold market doesn't have that bigger spread. I mean, it's bigger than 9%, you know, when all said and done. But when you think that you have to take so many tons, they say 10 tons of ore to make one ounce of gold, then return the, the land to where it was, you can see the gist of it, that you better have uh, something in there um, that has some... A bigger spread, figure out how to um, get some of your costs down. And, you know, one of the Tigers was saying that in Newmont they didn't, uh, bottom line, hedge their fuel costs. That, you know, what happens in a hedging process in general, folks, is that the way I look at it, they're in the gold business, okay? And I remember the first run. And this is where, yeah, this is 20 years ago, but the bottom line is that no one ever thought that the gold business would go out of a bear market. It was like a 20-year bear market. It was, you know, insane. And what it ended up happening is that you had, you know, well, Newmont, Newmont in particular, they, they hedged beyond belief. It ended up costing them like $2.8 billion to, to take the hedge off because, you know, bottom line, it went up. My general feeling is that, you know, let's say you're in the airline business. I, I can see definitely you're hedging a, you know, a, an energy diesel fuel deal at lows, not at $100, okay? The other businesses, the, the gold businesses got slammed by hedging anything because the bottom line is that all they're really doing is trading it. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. You know, you start, you know, you, you could, and their history is that they have lost huge amounts of money hedging. That's, that's, that's the history, you know? And thank God that Newmont had actually bought back their hedge because if, if they didn't, then it would have been hundred. No, it would have been billions in the three digits. No, it would have been three digits. It would have been thirty or forty billion, though. It would have been it would have been an outrageous number. Let's put it that way, because gold, of course, you know, went from two fifty eight, and the first run was like eleven sixty nine or something. Um, but you know, cost to cost, and the. Aspect of the way that I suspect this is going to shake out this week. We have the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, and the way I'm looking at this right now, it does whatever the Federal Reserve is saying. It looks to me like the S and P wants to go higher, and metals want to go higher. And where I'm going with the metals is that I'm going that the dollar, okay, is wanting to go lower. You know, it's teetering right now. It's trying to get over this. 
number once again. The number is 106.792. We're at 106.447. But the way it's traded out here today, it's like, okay, it's going to be a close call. It hasn't made it over it yet. The longer that it stays under that number, the higher the probability that that dollar has topped and we're going south. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 60, NASDAQ uh, down 71, S&P's a flat. Let's get over and take a look at the SPY. So you get a sideways to lighter market. And the bottom line is that when you look at price and volume, folks, what you're doing today is you're backing down and because you, you didn't go for highs and you have a huge contraction of volume. That says the market wants higher price, man. Uh, bottom line, we did hit a high on Friday with 72 million. You're backing down with 43. That's in the SPY. And we take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs right here. We made a high on Friday with 57 million. You're backing down with 35. That's still a market that wants higher price. Uh, you know, what we will have is that on Wednesday at 2 o'clock, that's going to be fireworks, no doubt about that. The real kick is going to be, um, you know, do they do three quarters? Do they do uh, a half? And then what do they say? Because when you look at the calendar here, this is the way this shakes out, man. The bottom line is that the calendar, uh, July 27th, the next Fed meeting after that is going to be September 21st. Um, we have the, the Fed fund rate right now is one... Whoa. Second, sorry. The Fed, the Fed fund, where is it? Is 1.75.
So the Fed wants to get that up to two and a half. And two and a half is not, not too far from 1.75, right? You know, you're, ta you're talking about uh, another three quarter percent, you're at two and a half. So they're either gonna do a half and say they're gonna do more, I'll, I'll do a qu three quarters. And my take is that if they do the three quarters, you know, they're gonna say that, okay, things are gonna slow them down because that gets us two and a half. You know, now, granted, in order to crush inflation, I think it's gonna probably have to be more than that. But at this particular point, um, the bottom line is that, that that's all this market would need to really get a rally going uh, because, you know, just like anything else, when you're at highs, picture it. When you're at highs, do you know how many people just wanted to buy every single day, every single day, and now you're down 35% and people say, I don't want to buy? <laughs> it's a twisted world, man. <laughs> you got to love it. I always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth.